The prison break was supposed to be a routine affair, but it quickly turned into something out of a Hollywood blockbuster. Guards were left scratching their heads in confusion as they chased after an escapee who had somehow managed to outwit them at every turn. And when they finally caught up with the culprit, they were in for the shock of their lives. The escapee was none other than Ronald Silva, but he wasn't exactly what they were expecting. This is the incredible story of Ronald Silva's escape, a tale that will have you on the edge of your seat until the very end. Pinedo Jail is a correctional facility located in the city of Pinedo, Alagoas, Brazil. The jail was built in the early 20th century and was originally intended to house a few hundred inmates, but it has since become severely overcrowded with a capacity for approximately 150 inmates, but at times holding over 500. The conditions inside Pinedo Jail are notoriously harsh, with reports of overcrowding, violence, and poor sanitation. Inmates are crammed into small cells with limited access to basic necessities such as food, water, and medical care. Some inmates reportedly sleep on the floor or in hammocks with no beds provided. Due to overcrowding, violence is also a significant issue inside Pinedo Jail. Inmates are often forced to join gangs for protection and fights and riots are a regular occurrence. The lack of staff and resources has also made it difficult to maintain order and prevent violence from escalating. However, it was in 2012 when Pinedo Jail gained popularity, not only in Brazil, but all across the world. What's even more fascinating is that the recent surge in the prison's popularity was not due to any upgrades or changes in its policies, but because one inmate, Ronald Silva, tried to make a run for it in his wife's attire. Deep inside the walls of Pinedo Prison, Ronald Silva sat on his bed, staring out of the small barred window. He had been there for months now, ever since his last failed escape attempt, and he was starting to feel like his life was slipping away from him. He had always been a man with a plan, a man who could think on his feet and make things happen. But here, inside these walls, he was just another inmate, another number in a sea of criminals. But Ronald was not the kind of man who would give up. He was determined to escape, to leave this place behind and start a new life on the outside. As he sat there, staring out the window, he began to formulate a plan. He knew that he couldn't just try the usual escape. He needed to do something different, something that no one would expect. And that's when he had his epiphany. He would escape dressed as a woman. It was crazy. It was risky. But it might just work. He could see it all in his mind's eye, walking out of the prison gates in a dress, a wig on his head, and his arms and legs shaved clean. It was so outrageous that it might work. Ronald knew that he would need help. He couldn't do this alone. So he decided to take help from the closest person he had, and it was none other than his beloved wife. As soon as his wife arrived for a prison visit on the day of the escape, she brought along an extra shirt, a wig, shoes, and bright red lipstick. Unbeknownst to her, she was about to become a willing accomplice in her husband's escape plan. With these items in hand, Silva began his transformation, eager to make a new persona and leave his old life behind. But this was no ordinary disguise. Silva went all out to create a convincing female persona, even shaving his arms and legs to look the part. Dressed head to toe in women's clothing, Ronald had pulled off the most daring escape in recent memory. From a black wig, to a little blue dress, he had raided his wife's closet and left everyone wondering how he had managed to pull it off. What's more, he had done it all with the flair and panache that would make even the most seasoned criminals jealous. Ronald slipped into his wife's clothes, put on a wig, and applied makeup to his face. He looked in the mirror and barely recognized himself, but he had to keep his cool, act natural, and walk out of the prison gates without anyone suspecting a thing. As he made his way through the prison, Ronald's heart was racing. The guards were watching him, eyeing him suspiciously, but he kept his composure and played the part of a meek, obedient wife visiting her husband. When he finally made it to the prison gate, he took a deep breath and walked out into the world as a free woman. Ronald's daring and unconventional escape attempt made headlines around the world. It was a bold move that few people had ever attempted before. The prison's director, Carlos Welber, later revealed that Silva had hashed his plan during his wife's weekly visit to the prison. Silva had managed to swap clothes with his wife, who left the facility wearing his Bermuda shorts and another top that she had brought in her bag. The swap went unnoticed by the guards, 
allowing Silva to don his wife's clothes and attempt his daring escape in broad daylight. At first, it seemed as though Silva had succeeded in his daring plan. With his wife's help, he managed to walk straight out of the prison's front gates, confident in his new guise as a woman. Silva's heart was racing as he walked towards the nearby bus station, where his accomplices were waiting on their motorbikes. It was just a few more steps and he would be free. But then, disaster struck. A police officer spotted Silva almost instantly, remarking on his funny walking as he hadn't quite mastered the art of walking in heels. Silva's dream of freedom was over before it had even begun. He was apprehended by the police and his accomplices were nowhere to be found. It was a crushing blow for Silva, who had gone to such great lengths to plan his escape. At the end, he was promptly taken back to the prison while still wearing his elaborate disguise. In a statement to the press, Carlos Welber, the prison's director, explained how the officer had become suspicious of Silva's unusual gait and demeanor, which gave him away. The officer's quick thinking and swift action prevented Silva from enjoying his successful escape for more than 30 minutes, and he was promptly returned to Pinedo Prison to face the consequences of his failed attempt. According to Carlos Welber, the director of Pinedo Prison, there was a significant amount of preparation and premeditation that went into Silva's daring escape attempt. In an interview with Brazil's Globo G1 website, Welber expressed shock and disbelief at the audacity of Silva's plan. It was a crushing blow for Silva, who had risked everything for a chance at freedom. But it was also a testament to his demeanor and ingenuity. After all, not many prisoners would have thought to take DIY disguises to such an extreme level. Silva's wife later admitted to swapping clothes with her husband, but claimed she had no idea why he wanted them. According to Carlos Welber, the prison's director, Silva's wife said that it was her husband who had demanded her clothes and she complied with his request. However, the authorities were skeptical of her story and suspected that she may have been more involved in Silva's plan than she let on. The repercussions of Ronald Silva's daring escape attempt were left far and wide. It had left the prison authorities red-faced and with egg on their faces, as they were now forced to come to terms with the limitations of their security measures. They were now scrambling to reevaluate and improve their systems to prevent any future escape attempts. The daring escape took place during visiting hours, with scores of family members present oblivious to the unfolding drama. The chaos and confusion must have been palpable as Silva made his way through the crowded prison in his wife's clothes. However, his plans were soon foiled when the eagle-eyed police officer spotted his suspicious behavior and intervened. Despite Silva's best efforts, he was apprehended and brought back to the prison, where he was met with the full wrath of the authorities. He was quickly brought to justice and made an example to deter any future escape attempts. The incident left the lasting impact on the prison and its security measures, prompting a thorough review and revamp of its systems. The safety and security of the inmates and visitors were paramount, and no stone was left unturned in their quest to ensure that such an incident would never happen again. Share your thoughts with us in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.